You may remember when LEGO announced Grogu's Bark Speeder Escape and we got this lamp from the Jedi Temple. Everyone was going crazy. There was so much excitement around it because we thought, myself included, that this was the first official LEGO piece from the Jedi Temple for a LEGO set rather than just a game or even some TV series we've seen it in from LEGO. And I'm sure there's some semi-official build that they've got for the Star Wars area that used to be at all of the Lego lands before they lost the license. This isn't actually the first Jedi Temple build. We have a full set dedicated to one of the rooms of the temple from way back in 2013, around the time that Yoda Chronicles was out. Now, I have pieced together this set. This isn't an official build that I've got here today. I don't have A, one of the minifigures, and B, the money to go out and splash nearly five grand on a new version of this set. Apparently this goes from, I think it was around 4,400 to 4,800 in good condition, which is crazy for a set that not really many people know is the first Jedi Temple build. Now, if you were wondering what this build is, because I've made you wait long enough, it is the Holocron Chamber from Yoda Chronicles. Now, Everyone was too busy looking at the Jek-14 Starfighter and to be fair, that was definitely the best set from this wave because although the Holocron Chamber does look really, really cool and I will be using this for a future upcoming Acolyte mock, so I am so excited to show that once the show is out. It's only given away in the 2013 New York Toy Fair, I believe. So it was a very, very limited set. It does have an official set number, and because it was a special released around the time of Yoda Chronicles, its set number is actually Yoda Chron 1 or Yoda Chronicle 1, something like that, which I thought was really awesome. They gave it a number other than the, I believe it was four digits at the time. We hadn't quite hit the seven, five numbers yet. But as far as I'm aware, it's one of the only sets that doesn't have an official four or five numbered set from Lego. And it is a really, really awesome piece. I've built it here to show you in just a second. But these holocron squares around the outside, I believe there's 144 of them, which I don't have 144 plates. So I've actually tried to improve the way it looks and I think I've done a pretty cool job. Compared to the lamp that came in the recent set, this thing is absolutely massive. You can see it is almost a full chamber. I guess they've done half of this so you've still got this open side to interact with it and perhaps so it looks really really cool on display i think we can get rid of that lamp now the whole thing is built quite nicely with lego and technic this whole top bit so these three gray pillars as well as all of these black walls here lift up and it's quite a straightforward build if you did want to build it yourself as i said i don't have all the minifigures this padawan from young jedi adventures should be replaced with this minifigure which goes with an absurd amount and is an older Lego Star Wars figure. So there's no chance of me getting my hands on them anytime soon. And to be fair, I don't exactly want to because I've got enough minifigures. I've got Yoda from, of course, Yoda's Chronicles and another Padawan, which you can really add anyone here or even just add a bunch of different Jedi and other minifigures to this scene. And I have reconstructed the droid that was in the show. I think it was a dark blue dish on top but I've used a light gray just to stand it out from the blue at the back and the dark gray below. So you can better see the droid, which I think is a really cool design for the Holocron droid. And the whole set is actually quite sturdy. You can see there is an axle holding this table down. So if you wanted to, you can pick the whole set up just by this axle, which is a neat feature somewhat pointless because I don't really see the point of holding something up by the table but as you can see the one by one translucent blue tiles here I believe all of them are meant to be this dark blue which I think the light blue looks better but I only had 40 of these and it requires a hundred and I think it was 144 for this set so I've gone with some slopes instead and I think it does look really really cool it just gives a different angle to the interior of the walls, especially when they're mostly just the black plates. Though I will say Lego have been very smart with how they've put together the black plates because they've used some of these wedges here to make sure the walls don't push in themselves too much, which if you've seen the modifications I've made to the gunship, 
It's definitely a much more safer set than that ship. There's also three seats around the outside, which whilst you wouldn't have been able to sit the older Padawans down, the Padawans from Young Jedi Adventures do actually have the half legs that you see with the younger Lego figures recently, which means you can sit them down in these chairs and perhaps Yoda is giving them a lesson. I don't know why he'd be standing on the table, but I guess that's up to how he teaches his lessons. And the droid, you can sit in front of them. In fact, Yoda could probably even stand on the chairs. So you can display a few members on the chairs, like they're sitting and just taking everything in, or you can even remove the chairs completely and have a little entrance to the holocron room. Now, as I said, I will be using this for an acolyte mock and my aim for it is just to replace these black walls here with the color of the Jedi chambers. This middle dish, even though it's kept in with an axle, is still fairly easy to pull up and remove and you can really do anything you want in the middle there. So it's an amazing set if you did want to recreate just to create a few different rooms of the Jedi Temple. And if you want to create an exterior, you can always add the lamp on the outside. Definitely let me know if you have this in your collection. It's quite a rare set, but you can piece together the other Padawan with other Jedi parts. I think she uses Anakin's torso and a few other common pieces that were in a load of sets at the time. So once again, that is the official first Jedi Temple build. If you do want to build this, the instructions are out there on the internet. Lego don't officially have them because it is a Toy Fair exclusive, much like the Han and Luke detention block set, which again, if you want to build that, the instructions are out there. Just Google it, but don't try to use BrickLink to get all the pieces for this. I made that mistake, and when I started building it, half the pieces weren't even there. So I did try to put in a changelog on BrickLink. It's such a long and complicated process. I would recommend going through the instructions, perhaps building it in studio or somewhere like that to get the pieces for yourself and then putting them all together. It looks so, so cool. And it's definitely gonna be something that I might add to my collection. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the way out and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next awesome Lego project. And may the bricks be with you always.